My favorite part about the web is that it's worldwide. People from anywhere on this planet can access your content. How amazing is that? But there are different rules in different places. Like in my part of the United States, we have the California Consumer Privacy Act. Or if you're in Europe, you have the General Data Protection Regulation. They basically mean we need to ask for a user's consent before we collect analytics or provide certain features. So today, I'm going to show you a way to set up a consent pop-up based on your user's location. This takes the job of two components, AMP Geo, which provides country-level geolocation of users, and AMP Consent, a component that collects and stores a user's consent through a UI control. It also blocks other AMP components based on that user's consent. I'll add both their script tags into the head of my document. I'm going to set up my AMP Geo component first. AMP Geo doesn't just provide us with where our users are located, it gives us the ability to alter page behavior for specified locations. I can specify locations in group by defining them in a JSON. I'll use the ISO country groups key, then create two groups. A super useful tool AMP Geo gives us is preset groups. The preset EEA groups all countries that fall under the EU cookie law. This allows me to just add that preset in without defining each individual country. And I also get to use preset-us-ca for California. I'll also include unknown in my EEA grouping, just in case AMP Geo cannot figure out where a user is while they still may be located somewhere that requires consent. Now that I have my countries defined, I'll create their consent flows. I'll add an AMP consent component and give it an ID of location consent. Then I'll define the consent configuration. Starting with the consent instance ID, I'll define a blanket worldwide consent, where the consent required key has a value of false. Now, some of you may be fretting about that false value. Well, for any case where consent is required, we can override the default flow by using the geo override key. I'll add it into my configuration. Then I'll define EEA and USCA, both with a value of true for consent required, and I'll give them each their own unique value for their prompt UI ID. Next, I'll add the prompts for each case inside the AMP consent component tags. And when I reload my page, uh-huh, there we are. It successfully detected I was in California. Each of my prompts have three elements users can interact with, the X to dismiss a consent, and then that consent will appear on each refresh or when navigating to a different page. But I also have two buttons, accept and reject and those will submit the user's answer and hide the prompt. Now that my users are able to reject or accept my site's terms, I can block behaviors that require consent, like sending analytics pings. To implement this, I'll add the data block on consent attribute to my AMP analytics component. But I can't really demonstrate if AMP analytics is blocked or not, so I'll also block my AMP list component. And now my page doesn't show any hikes until I accept through AMP consent. Lastly, I want to show you how to test that this is working in locations that aren't your own. First, make sure you delete the stored consent, otherwise AMP consent won't prompt you again, then navigate to the AMP experiments page. I've linked to that URL in the video description. And then enable the experimental channel. I'll then go back and add hash AMP dash geo equals, then a country code. I'll try Germany. And there. Now I get a consent pop for the EEA. And well, that's it for how to get started building a consent pop-up based on users' locations. Wherever you are in the world, thanks for watching this Californian code. Let us know what you want to see next in the comments below.